Hi guys, it's currently Thursday afternoon, almost four o'clock, and I've actually been quite productive. Girl's bike is done. That's ready to go to my friends. I've just got to um, sort his mountain bike out and then he can take them both out of my way. Uh, yeah. Gears working, brakes are set up. Got the rear reflector on it. I was going to put a set of dynamo lights on it, but uh, the bars on the back of the frame here are actually too thin for that bracket to clamp onto it properly. So, that's that idea out of the window. I could if I wanted to um, you know, bodge it with a bit of PVC tape to make the bar thick and then it won't grip properly anyway. So, yeah, I'll just leave it as it is. I'll take it back downstairs as is and uh, lock it back up out front. Yeah. Um, the adapter came from a video card that came this morning. Uh, da -da. Uh, keyboard has also arrived, so that's something to do later, but I do want to have a play around with this computer. Well, not this computer, but a computer. Well, I'm going to have a clean up in here first. Get this downstairs. The other thing I've been doing is uh, moving wheels and tyres around. The um, big shelf above my head in the shed downstairs. It's now got all the tyres on it that I seldomly use, like the 20 inch tyres. 27, 28 and 700C tyres were all up there, out of the way, because I seldomly use them. So in this cupboard up here, I've now got a few bike frames, a few tyres, and mostly wheels. In fact, I think all the wheels are up here now. Uh, so I've been busy doing that. Done this bike. I've got a keyboard to fit to the laptop, which I'll, I'll uh, do that later. Actually, you know what? I was actually playing with this bike at 1.30 this morning. Because <laughs> uh, I've also, if you notice, it's got a nice shiny stem on it now, because I've changed them. Got this handlebar from Biggles. He was actually going to scrap it. And I sort of retrie <laughs> retrieved it from the box in his car before he scrapped them. I retrieved the ones I wanted. The rest were all too rusty to actually, you know, bother with. So... Yeah, this one wasn't too bad. I've cleaned it up a bit. It's a bit pitted, but it works. And uh, I just took all the old rusty um, brake levers off. And I just literally took the old stem out with the handlebar attached. Dropped this one straight in. Done it up. Put the brake levers on. Because it just saved, you know, swapping the brake cables. Because the actual... The cables that went to the original brake levers on this handlebar were actually completely different to these ones. So I just unbolted the brake levers and swapped them. Plus it saved disconnecting them and changed the gear shifter as well. Readjusted that rear brake, put the rear reflector on, which I actually did about half an hour ago. And it's, uh, yeah, good to go. Tires are pumped up. So that is going to go downstairs in a minute, and I'm going to go and grab my ladder because I need to go and have a look at my motherboards. Because I feel like building a PC just for the sheer hell of building a PC, basically. Um, I think I'm going to use this case. Is that the dirty one? That is the dirty one. I'll get a sponge and clean that. Uh, can I use this? Actually, I could use the other case. Hmm. This is the only one I've got that would run up to Windows 7, but uh, it needs DDR2 memory, and I don't bloody have any. I've got one 512 megabyte stick of DDR2. Why the fuck you would want that in DDR2? I don't know. Well, then again, I suppose if you're only building a Windows XP computer or something, that's all you'd need. You know, a couple of those, but... 
for anything higher than Windows XP I really cannot imagine why you would want so little RAM unless it was going to specifically be a computer for like libraries and other public computers which are designed just for you know browsing and nothing else then you might only want a gig of uh, RAM in it <sighs> my brother's got his video card now it doesn't want to work on his PC it worked on this one I had it working because I checked it all before it left now it doesn't want to work and he's shown me a little video and he's got all the connections in the right place but it still doesn't want to work so I'm going to um, I've got another video card that I'll take out with me Sunday and I'll take a few other bits and pieces as well and I'll have a play with it um, when I get there because it may not it might be that the motherboard doesn't like that video card I don't know until I get out there <laughs> So, yeah, and that's my plan for this afternoon. Uh, got my giant back. My friend went and got his Claude butt there yesterday. Not a bad looking bike. Brand spanking new. So I've got that back. I've got to redo the bottom bracket. I put brand spanking new bearings in there. Now they need doing again. And I've, that bike has only been used... Probably about ten times. At least not much more than that since I've done those bearings and they're fucked again. So I'm going to try to get the um, right hand side cut off and put a sealed bottom bracket in it. Because I really don't like standard bottom brackets. Because they can be a pain in the ass. It's not the guy's fault, because I knew they were a bit dodgy before I loaned the bike out. But that's the only one I had suitable. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get that fixed. Had a bit of a clean-up in the shed as well. Throwing some stuff out, and, uh, got some tyres down there to photograph. In fact, I'll take this camera with me and, uh, show you the, um, new door. Oh yes, and uh, something a little Lego related. The final two pieces arrived. They arrived this morning, so my caboose is now finished. And according to um, the peer on website I got the um, parts list from, it's actually called a caboose. The set was called a caboose. So, uh... I'm sort of eager to get the train set up because <laughs> I'd like to get the train all set up going around on this town before I continue with anything else so I can actually build around the track if that makes sense I just think that would be easier than trying to build um, the track around the town <laughs> Uh, track isn't too expensive, I've noticed. So, I'll see what I can get. Uh, a couple of big job lots should actually do the trick. So, all my beach area there. I was going to say, we'll get demolished. It won't get demolished, it's just going to get moved. Because I've got to build... <laughs> an extra table in there so I'd like to do that as soon as possible as well I need something I can use as a top I'm sure I'll find something right I'm going to shut the camera down and I'll turn it back on when I get downstairs
Okay, shed sorted out, as you saw. There's the old keyboard. There's the new one. Fitted, installed, laptop works. All keys work. I have opened up Notepad and tried them, so everything's working. It doesn't look like the battery wants to charge because I've got that orange light flashing on and off. I don't actually know if that means it's charging or if it's got an issue, I don't know. Don't care either. Oh, my brother's having problems with that GPU. It's <laughs> He couldn't get any output. So he disconnected it, installed the drivers, and then couldn't get output from the board or the GPU. Then all of a sudden both started working, but now when he's got the GPU connected it won't let him open anything up on the desktop. So he's having fun and games. I keep telling him to leave it until I get there. <laughs> Take it out, leave it out, and I'll sort it out, or attempt to sort it out, when I'm there Sunday. I'm going to be there a bit late Sunday, because uh, Mum's working again, but she's on an early this time. Now, what on earth did I do? There it is. I was going to try. I was going to try this one, but I don't think we're going to get much luck with this one either because that's an ATI as well and I already know offhand that ATI video cards are a pain in the fucking ass with Windows 10 so I'm now sort of thinking maybe I should have opted for Windows 7 because I've heard quite a few stories where people have uh, had problems with uh, Windows 10 and ATI Radeon video cards because um, it worked perfectly when I had it on this computer up there but you know with no OS I just connected it up to see if I had output just to make sure you know there weren't no problems with the adapter etc etc and it worked fine <laughs> I just told him I've got the keyboard working on the laptop and he said I've I'm having better luck than he is. Only by a little, because that laptop didn't actually want to boot at first. <laughs> I actually found out I've really got to slam that power connector in. Pardon me. Now, I am... That might have something to do with it. Look at that. It's warped. That might be why some of the keys don't work. But, because the keys are still good on this, I'll keep that as spare. Just in case any fall off of that one or break or wear out. So, that wasn't me that bent it. I didn't need to. Either way, that can be closed and that can go up there out of the way. That frame down there is probably going to be my next project, but for now, where the fuck that come from? I must have fell out of my wallet. <laughs> for now, I'm just going to get friends' bikes done. It's about time I pulled my finger out to get them done. Girl's bike is down there. Just got to bring my friend's mountain bike up, which I'll do later. I actually want to uh, play around with computers. I don't know why, I'm just in the mood to play with computers. So, that's working. Find so put that back in the cupboard now. Find somewhere to lay that laptop so I've got a bit more space on here. And go see what motherboards I've got. And actually uh, find an Intel motherboard, hopefully. That takes the processor, or the same type of processor I've got in that one that failed. Basically so I can test it and see if it's the motherboard or the processor that shit the bed. 
I can't remember what this one's got in it. Probably an Intel. Probably an Intel dual core, something simple. Because this is one of those, you know, little mini computers that were meant for use in libraries and whatnot. Right. Not a lot of headroom <laughs> standing on this step. <sighs> no. Why wasn't. Is that a working mother? I can't remember if that's a working motherboard or not. Uh. Just like I can't remember if that one's a working motherboard or not. This one's got SATA on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off because I need two hands anyway to... Uh, get what I want and I'm going to need that box down as well because I'm going to need some AGP video cards blah -de blah blah because I'm going to do some um, board testing and whatnot and some autopsying on that other motherboard so uh, I'll talk to you probably later on today actually I'll get some stuff done Okay, I have just emptied this box and I have more AGP video cards than I actually thought I had. I've got 11 if I count the two new ones that I got last week, which are these two, which I'm going to test as I'm in a testing mood. I've got these adapters for um, those flat tower Dells, the Optiplex, a couple of USB thingies there. Um, I haven't got more sound cards than I thought I had, but for some reason, I've got all those dial-up modems. Why the fuck have I got all those dial-up modems? Believe it or not, it weren't that long ago that I actually uh, went through all my dial-up modems and actually threw a, a load out. A lewd? A lewd. I only want to keep a few, you know, different styles, you know, as little keepsakes sort of thing, you know, days gone by sort of thing. But I've got this bloody lot of them too that just fell on the floor. How many is here? It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One of this bloody tub was full. That's a Broadcom one. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, I was just making sure that was phone and not an RJ45 socket. Well, that's a Broadcom. That's got a brand name on it. I will actually keep that one. <laughs> what else have we got? One of these two that fell on the floor. I am just going to go through all those video cards as well. I'm going to set up a motherboard that I know works and then just go through them. Is there any name on this? A lot of these, I find, don't actually have a name on them. Like that one. No, I've got some here that look like these two. They're absolutely identical. There's no name on them that I can see. It's got Mac system on that one. Yeah, those are... I oh, that one's got something on the plastic here. Is that one? No, so that is... That's the main difference. Right, keep that one, ditch that one. I like these little mini ones, 
So I'm going to keep those. I don't even think you'd be able to get the bleeding drivers for them anymore. At least not over here. So, I'm going to put the modems in the bottom of this because, like I said, they're not really. I'm not keeping them to use them. They are just a, a keepsake. Because I can. So I am technically going through these and uh, seeing which ones I want to keep. <coughs> the rest will all just be ditched like that one. That's the only one I got with the... Um, Oh no, it's not. Not another one there. Mic and speaker. Mic and line, actually, that's labelled as. Put a couple of those in there. I'll go in the bin and I'll keep that one. There we go. Alright. Next on the agenda, I've got all these LAN cards. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, they are, even today, still useful to have. So I was going to keep them. I've got some TV cards here, various ones. Multipal TV card, Opage, Opag, I can't, I think it's Opag, isn't it? No software for it, but. <laughs> can take video in so I might be able to install that on a PC and uh, <coughs> use it for the same thing um, my other one does I've got Ava Media I've got five of these by the way there's this one which is a Philips which has just got you know FM in RF in. Ah. Who does that mean you can make that into a radio card as well? That's pretty much obsolete because, uh. <laughs> it's for analog. And I've got Pinnacle Systems. Just got the video in. Audio out. TV in. S video <coughs> and another AVTV Studio 303P. I've actually got audio in and out phones, TV and FM. <coughs> I've got several various devices in bags, and then I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sound cards, including this one, which is actually for very old PCs. That one. <coughs> so these can be useful. They definitely stand. Like I said, I've got a few like that kicking around that I know I've got drivers for, and I know that if I haven't got them, I can actually get them. Order G2, that's a sound blaster and a half, isn't it? Look, probably a professional one. I've just got a couple of uh, simple ones, and that one in the box. 
I've got the, uh, oh, got two more Ethernet over here. <coughs> right. Oh, yeah. Put those over there as well. Oh. Nearly dropped you. <laughs> right, so I've got... It smells someone spicy dinner cooking. Anyway. I just thought I'd turn the camera back on and show you what I've got in that box. A pile of crap, basically. To most people. Uh, pardon me. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Right, I've been a busy bee. I've got XP running on that machine at last. It's taken bloody long enough. Uh, the first motherboard I chose, which it was that one down there, didn't work. And then I needed a 24 pin connector for the next motherboard, and that power supply didn't work. <laughs> but, uh, it's sitting here running, aw running away now, so I can actually shut this down. Because uh, I've got a few things I need to install on this, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. For now, that can just sit there. Right. Whee! I'm trying to find drivers for this one because it's a 256 megabytes, megabytes of uh, memory. But uh, trying to get the actual thing. It's like looking for a needle in a bleeding haystack. It's because it's old. It's all. It's just old. No, it's definitely not the V9520 dash X. It's definitely not that one. Which means that those drivers aren't any good. I don't trust that site. And that's totally the wrong one as well. And this is French. Maybe not French. Huh, I don't know. I'm getting too tired to piss around doing that now. I'm going to go have a look at my box and uh, see what else I've got. I've got a couple of ATI Radions here, but they're quite small. There we go. I'm going to shut it down then because I'm not really, haven't really done a lot apart from pissed around with that computer for about the last two hours trying to find components that actually worked. So um, 
and they're working now. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. I was just about to put a battery in the wrong way around in my chair. <laughs> One way to go bang. Right. Anyway. Thanks a lot for watching and uh I'll talk to you again at some point tomorrow. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to cross that bridge when I get to it. Anyway, see you later.